Hello, my name is Mike Ackerman, and I'm a genetic cardiologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I also have the privilege of serving as the president of the Sudden Arrhythmia Death Syndromes Foundation, or SADS Foundation. On behalf of Alice Laura, CEO of the SADS Foundation, and all of our staff at SADS, we invite you to get to know us at www.stopsads.org as we join in the national heart awareness efforts for the month of February. Today, today alone, 500 to 1,000 Americans will die suddenly from sudden cardiac death, or SCD. Most of them elderly, and most due to coronary artery disease. However, 5,000 to 10,000 young Americans, defined as my age or younger, will die suddenly or unexpectedly this year. These sudden cardiac death in the young, or SCDY cases, although smaller in magnitude, are huge in impact, and their lost life years are substantial. There are many, many different causes of SCDY. One such cause is Long QT syndrome, or LQTS, which affects an estimated one out of 2,000 Americans. Long QT syndrome is much more common than childhood leukemia, for example, and yet most people are much more aware of childhood leukemia than they are of Long QT syndrome. Like childhood leukemia, left unrecognized, undiagnosed, and untreated, Long QT syndrome can be life-threatening. However, when recognized, correctly diagnosed, and properly treated, the tragedy of Long QT syndrome-associated sudden death almost never happens. In other words, Long QT syndrome is a highly treatable condition. During this American Heart Month of February, the SADS Foundation would like to remind you of three important questions to ask and answer as we look for warning signs for Long QT syndrome and some of the other causes of SCDY. Question number one, have you ever fainted suddenly abruptly without much warning, or had a sudden generalized seizure without much warning that occurred during exercise, or when suddenly startled by an auditory trigger. If you had this kind of faint, this potentially danger faint, let your healthcare provider know. This is a very different faint than the normal, common, lightheaded, woozy, dizzy faint that 25% of all young people will have before their 25th birthday. We're talking about the sudden, without much warning, danger faint. If yes, let your healthcare provider know. Question number two, do you have a family history of unexpected, unexplained sudden death that has occurred before the age of 40? In other words, has there been a child, a sibling, a parent, a grandparent, or an aunt or uncle, cousins, or great aunts, great uncles, who've had an unexplained tragic sudden death, an unexplained motor vehicle accident, or an unexplained drowning? If the answer is yes, tell your local healthcare provider so that they can decide whether further evaluation may make sense. And question number three, although not a warning sign for long QT syndrome, but instead a possible warning for sudden death predisposing heart muscle conditions like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM, have you ever had consistent or unusual chest pain or shortness of breath that occurs during exercise? This isn't the shortness of breath and the wheezing of asthma or the chest pain of common, typical chest wall pain. This is consistent, unusual chest pain, exertional chest pain, or exertional shortness of breath. If yes, tell your local provider. If you have answered yes to any or all of these sudden death warning sign questions, let your healthcare provider know to determine whether or not you should be seen by a cardiologist for further evaluation. Among all of the patients and families who I had the privilege of caring for in Mayo Clinic's Genetic Heart Rhythm Clinic, where there has been a tragic expression of sudden death at a young age, that deceased individual and his or her family would have answered yes 
to one of those three questions half of the time. We know that if we can do a better job at recognizing the warning signs for sudden cardiac death in the young and acting on those warnings, we can save lives. For more information on the warning signs and to complete a more formal risk assessment for SCDY, please check us out at www.stopsads.org. That's www.stopsads.org. In closing, on behalf of Mayo Clinic's Genetic Heart Rhythm Clinic and the Mayo Clinic Winland Smith Rice Comprehensive Sudden Cardiac Death Program, and on behalf of Alice Laura, the CEO of the SADS Foundation, thanks for joining me today. And remember that the SADS Foundation is here for you and your family. Please join us in our life-saving and life-giving mission.